What's up guys? Well, I finally decided to upgrade the uh, GPU in my HP 8200 Elite uh, LAN PC. The 750 Ti does pretty good for, uh, you know, like Blizzard games, uh, League, uh, you know, stuff like that. Simple games. You can play Counter-Strike Source just fine, but game unoptimized games like PUBG and games like Fortnite uh, not that Fortnite, Fortnite's optimized. I'm just saying PUBG is unoptimized. Fortnite just can't run with everything turned up. Gotta turn everything on low and stuff. I have to do like 720p or super low graphics. Anyway, it's mainly just because this thing only has 2 gigs of uh, video memory. So that kind of started limiting me there for 1080p gameplay. But I only paid like $60 for that, so not really a big deal. So, now I got a... What do you call it? 1050 Ti. That's what it was. Got this off eBay for what was it? Uh, 120 bucks with shipping, and that's because it didn't come with a uh, with one of these. But neither did this one. I had to buy this separately. So let's get this installed on the new card and get it installed in the PC and see how much of an improvement this makes. So we got the uh, 1050 Ti installed. So now let's just go and see if it boots up. This is a used GPU off eBay, so there's always that chance where it might uh, just not work. I mean, I feel like if it ran a 750 Ti, it could easily run a... Uh, 1050 Ti. They should both run off of the PCI, so that shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, we we'll get the side back on and we'll boot it up and see what's what. Alright, well, it booted up just fine. It's already up. Gonna go ahead and clean these drivers, install the new ones. Alright, All right. as soon as I get done setting all this up, I'll turn the camera back on. This is just like, this is just silly, boring stuff here. Alright, well we got all the drivers installed and whatnot. Let's see, I am going to run this just so I can see temps and stuff in the background, but let's just make sure the card doesn't just artifact like crazy or anything, or just instantly crash the computer, restart the computer, or what have you. Might as well just run a quick benchmark just for fun to compare it to the old one. I think my last one got like 1,103 or something like that for my 750 Ti. Anyway, I'm just going to let this benchmark finish and we'll see what it gets or if it crashes or whatnot. Well, there's the score it got. Much better than my uh, last GPU, and that one was overclocked to the max, and I haven't even touched this one yet. This is exactly how it comes out of the box. I don't know how accurate this is, but it looks like it's boosting up to 19, almost 2 gigahertz all by itself. Now, this whole thing up here could be complete nonsense. I would rather my afterburner tell me, but I didn't set it up yet. Anyway, let's... Uh exit out of here go check out our temps there's the CPU but that's not really that important what did the GPU get up to hmm, 81 so it gets about as hot as my last one it's the same cooler 
on a car that uses just about the same amount of power. So I figured the temps and stuff would be about the same in such a small little case like that. That only has one fan that cools the CPU. So all the GPU gets is warm, warmed CPU air. <laughs> so I'd say 80 is still okay. It's still pretty toasty, but eh, if it dies, it dies. Not a huge deal. Just get another one. But anyway, I will probably do another video uh, about overclocking it and whatnot and like what scores it gets and stuff and the temps and all that. I might even be able to, I should, oh yeah, I haven't messed with the fan profile. I could probably get the temps down a little bit. Uh, this is still using the stock fan profile too, which probably goes for silence over temperature. That's almost always how they do it. Anyway though, till the next video, peace out guys.